Windows user accounts allow multiple people to use one computer. Each person can have a different user account with unique settings and preferences. There are three types of user accounts, the administrator, standard users, and guest users. The administrator account has full control over the computer files and all of the other user accounts. The standard user has most of the abilities of the administrator but can't install software or hardware, change user account settings, change important security settings, perform a backup or a system restore, and a few other differences. The guest user is just a temporary user that does not need to save any account settings or preferences. By default, the guest user is turned off. It's good to set up only one administrator account and have all of the others, standard accounts, to better control what gets installed on the computer. Let's set up a new user account on our computer. To do that, we need to go to Start, Control Panel, User Account and Family Safety, and then User Accounts. This area will display the current user account that you are signed on to. In this area, we can create a password for your account or change it if you already have one. You can also change your picture, change your account type, manage other user accounts, and change user account control settings. You will not see these bottom two options if you are not signed on to the administrator account. Let's click on Manage Another Account. This area will display all the other user accounts that are on the computer. On my computer, I only have my current user account, and I want to create another one for the kids. To do that, click on Create a New Account. I'm going to create one account for all the kids. This will make it easier to manage all of the parental controls. I'm going to call this account Kids, and I'm going to make it a standard user so that they are unable to install any software without my permission. If you have kids, I recommend that you do the same. Then click Create Account. Now you can see that an account was created called Kids. And if I want to change any of the account settings for that account, just double click on it. Now in here, I see many of the same options that I saw before, with an additional option to delete the account. Let's set up some parental controls on our new Kids account. To do that, double click on the account that you would like to add the parental controls to. In the next screen, we will need to select On Enforce Current Settings. Now we are able to control the time limits, games they can use, and what programs they are allowed to use. The first parental control that I'm going to set is going to be a time limit so the kids cannot use the computer 24 hours a day. To change the time limit, click on Time Limits. Down below, you can see the white blocks are Allowed Times, and the blue blocks are Blocked Times. I'm going to block my kids from using the computer from 10 at night to 8 in the morning on Sunday through Friday. Now I'm going to change the Friday night to Open because they don't have school the next day. Just click once to change them back to the allowed times, then click OK. I can also block what types of games my kids are allowed to play by clicking on Games. This is where I can block the games completely by selecting Yes or No. I can also choose which games they are allowed to play by their ratings. If I want them to play games with a rating of teen or less, then I would select Teen and it will allow them to play all of the other games that are highlighted in blue. If I want to block or allow specific games, then I would need to click here. Now I can go through the list of all of the games that I have on the computer and select the option that I want for each game. Then click OK. Finally, I can allow the kids to only use certain programs that I select. 
To do that, select Kids can only use the programs I allow. Then a list of all of the programs on your computer will be displayed. Go through and select the programs that you want your kids to be able to use. Remember to read the program's description and not the file name. Then click OK. Now click OK one more time and you have now set your parental controls for that user.